All right, hi guys. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, but I'm going into a GIF banner because it's been asked for quite a few times. Um, right now I was circling the different sizes that I use so you guys can use them. Go ahead and screenshot. Um, now I'm going through and picking up my GIFs. Uh, which are things that I've definitely picked up from Google over time, and I just keep them in folders because I am a hoarder when it comes to graphic supplies, and I get really lazy, and I don't like having to go back through and find new GIFs every time that I'm going in to make something, especially since so many people use, like, very similar face gleams and or ask for similar moods for, same, for like, the same face gleams. So it's just, like, I can kind of just hoard a lot of GIFs and then not have to like search the internet for them. <laughs> um, it took me a little while to figure out who I was going to use for this GIF banner, but we found out. We figured it out. Um, I'm going to let it, you know, just let it go until I find out who I'm choosing. Not that I'm needing to find it out because I already know, but you know. And are we at all surprised that I ended up going with Taylor Swift? No, we're not. <laughs> um, and so now I'm going through and I'm grouping up the GIFs. Again, this is like something that I think I it might be the only one that does. Other people might do it in a different way. It really just depends on what's easiest for you. I always found this one to be easier. Um, so I group it up and I carry it over to my banner size. And now I'm shaping it so that it fits better. And then I put on a layer mask where I then use the black to erase. Um, this allows for an even um, amount of like the, the same thing to be erased on every single layer of the GIF. Um, I used to like erase by hand for each layer and it was just everything was always so uneven and it made me so mad and this made it so much simpler. Um, and this is just me going into the aesthetics of the GIF. Just you know trying to find some overlays to make it look good. Um, Yeah, that's, that's all. Uh, you'll hear my voice again whenever we start to pick up with like actual GIF process things.
All right, so now we're back again with some more GIF process things. I just changed the, the frame layer to be at one, 0 0.1 seconds. And now I add a frame at the bottom and I click on the corresponding frame in the GIF so that it continues to move. Um, it pretty much, it, it's pretty simple if you just kind of follow along with what I do. Down there at the bottom, you know, add a new frame, click on the frame, add a new one, click on the frame. It gets really, really tedious very quickly. Um, <laughs> and, and this part always takes me the longest when I'm making the new frames and then adding a frame afterwards when you're doing like the second or the third or the fourth GIF or however many GIFs you have on there. It's really simple because you just click down the line and then click on the corresponding frame. But you're not having to create a new frame every single time. Again, there might be an easier way to do this, but I have absolutely no idea. Um, this is the way that I've done it since I started making GIFs on Photoshop about three years ago now. As you can see, this one's going much, much faster because it it's just a way easier process going back. <laughs> Um, and I start from the back down. Um, some people go uh, like one to whatever. I go like 24 or whatever. And... Sorry if you can hear my mom in the background. She's working from home this week. So she's uh she's in a meeting. <laughs> Let's see. I don't remember if there's anything else that I show. I feel like I might just like play the GIF for you guys so you guys can see it. It's also gonna be at the bottom of the of the chapter, so there's always that. But yeah. That is how I make a GIF.